السلام علیکم ونس اگین دس از عمر فاروق اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ان دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف میتھمیٹکس آف جی ایم مومن ویمنس کالج ود دا سیکنڈ لیکچر آف میتھس پیپر 1 ایس وائی بی ایس سی میتھس پیپر 1 ویل کنٹینیو دی فنکشنز آف سیورل ویریبل دی چیپٹر فنکشنز آف سیورل ویریبل ناؤ وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈیفائن ہیئر لمٹ آف اے اسکیلر فنکشن We have seen the definition of a scalar function and vector function in the previous lecture. Okay, so a function whose codomain is R is the scalar function. So if we have S, any open subset of R n, and f from S domain is S. So f from S to R is any function, a scalar valued function because R is uh, the codomain. So it is a scalar valued function. And uh, R n S is subset of R n, so F is actually from R n to R. So it is a function of n variables. Okay. So F is any function, scalar function, and A is any interval. A is equal to a one, a two, a three up to a n. Is any constant number, constant vector in S. Any point limit of the limit of F as x is tending to a in S. is defined as follows so where x must be an interval x1 x2 x3 up to xn and so this interval means this vector is approaching to this vector this constant vector this is a variable vector this is a constant vector a in s so x is approaching to a uh, when this is approaching to this then there is a real number l uh, which can be said to be limit of the function fx if what So if this is epsilon delta definition, epsilon for given epsilon positive, there is a delta positive such that whenever zero is strictly less than norm of x minus a, it is strictly less than delta. This implies mod of f of x minus l is strictly less than epsilon. What does it mean actually? This norm is distance between x and a in R n. Okay, and since domain is a uh, codomain is R. So f x value of the function is real number, and this l is a real number. Therefore, distance between these two real number will be mod. Okay. So it tells us that for given epsilon, if there is a smaller number delta such that distance between x and a is becoming very small, even less than delta, then the distance between f x and this value, this number l, is also becoming very small. Okay, so we say that when x is approaching to a, then f x is approaching to l. Means when x is tending to a, f x is tending to l. And we write this as limit of f of x is equal to, uh, is equal to l as x is tending to a. Uh, this is uh, different from our limit that we have studied in first year BSc. Uh, difference is just this norm we had over there, modulus. will note that x and they are uh, rn so norm will become this as we have defined norm of the function norm is uh, norm of x minus a is this when we have this okay so this mod of each term okay difference between each term over here mod of x1 minus a1 mod of x2 minus a2 mod of x3 minus a3 all this mod of x i minus a i will be less than equal to this distance Okay, for all i. So whenever, then whenever norm of x minus a will be less than, strictly less than delta, uh, and we have this norm equal to this, and this is greater than this. So whenever this number is less than delta, then definitely this number must be less than delta. So each mod of x i minus a i is less than delta for all i from one to n. This is a very important observation. Will be useful uh, afterwards also. So now coming to next definition, definition of uh, limit of a vector valued function. When we have S again, um, an open set in R n and f is from S to R m. This time this is m. This is greater than one. Then this is a vector valued function. Okay. So this is vector valued function, and if if a belongs to S. Uh, is any point any vector over here? We say that L belonging to R M. Now this number L is a vector. This is not a real number. This is a vector. 
this will be limit of the function f as x tends to a if for given epsilon positive there is delta positive such that whenever distance between norm between norm of x minus a is less than delta it implies that norm of f x minus l is less than epsilon uh, you observe that here we have written norm not modulus unlike the previous example because now f of x and l they are vectors therefore we need to write here norm of f of x less than epsilon not mod okay that is the difference and we write again that limit of f of x as extending to a is l the first thing that we need to study now the first result important is algebra of limits that we have studied in first year also okay uh, what is the algebra of limit let s be again an open subset of r n f and g f and g are functions from s to r m so they are vector valued function uh, and lambda and mu are any real numbers and a is a fixed number fixed vector in s b and c they are any vectors in the codomain any values in codomain such that limit of f of x is b as x is tending to a and limit of g of x is equal to c then we have to show that limit of f of f plus g is b plus c limit of lambda times some multiple times f is that multiple times b maybe uh, limit of uh, 2f is 2 times b limit of 3f is 3 times b any 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 number any multiple times f of x is that then limit of this is the linearity property that limit of lambda f plus mu g function is lambda b plus mu c and limit of product f into g is product of the limits product of these two limits okay if we take product of function the limit is product of the separate limits and fifth result is limit of norm of f is equal to norm of b let us prove these results by the definition by the definition means limit of f of x is equal to b when x is tending to a then by the definition means by this definition that we have written what we are getting by the definition we have for given epsilon positive there is some delta 1 positive such that norm of x minus a is less than delta 1 implies norm of f of x minus b is strictly less than epsilon by 2 this epsilon by 2 is less than epsilon this is just an adjustment let us take this equation number 3 similarly for 2 means uh, from 2 2 is this that uh, limit of g of x is equal to c ok this is 2 so by definition again for given epsilon there is some delta 2 positive such that when norm of x minus a is less than delta 2 implies norm of g of x minus c g of x minus c is less than epsilon by 2 take it as next number 4 ok now when I want to use these two things simultaneously then I need to take here some delta which is minimum of delta 1 and delta 2 then whenever distance between x and a more norm of x minus a will be less than delta and this delta is less than delta 1 as well as delta 2, delta 2 because it is minimum of them then uh, this will be less than delta 1 this will be less than delta 2 also it means this will imply that this norm of x minus a is less than delta 1 as well as of delta 2 when it is less than delta 1 I can use 2, 3 when is, this is less than delta 2 I can very well use equation number uh, inequality 4 ok so starting with now norm of x minus a less than delta we can consider now f f plus g times x minus b plus c its norm is equal to I can have f of x plus g of x minus b minus c so we can rearrange these terms and we can have we can have norm of f of x minus b plus g of x minus c ok now I have this bracket I have this bracket by triangular inequality of norm that we had written norm of addition of this is less than or equal to norm of this plus norm of this ok but from uh, 3 and 4 from 3 from 3 I have this norm less than epsilon by 2 from 4 this norm less than epsilon by 2 so I can write here this is less than epsilon by 2 this is less than epsilon by 2 which is equal to epsilon so we will have this difference norm of f plus g 
x minus b plus c is less than epsilon starting with this if there is for, for given epsilon there is this delta which is minimum of this such that whenever this norm is less than delta it implies this difference is less than epsilon it means that limit of this function is equal to this so limit of uh, f plus g is addition of b plus c uh, so this is the addition property of limit similarly on the similar lines very easily we can prove that limit of the difference f minus g will be b minus c let us come to the second property <clears throat> starting with f of x limit f of x is equal to b again by definition for a given epsilon positive there is some delta positive such that uh, norm of x minus a less than delta implies implies norm of f of x minus b this minus this this distance is less than epsilon it should be less than epsilon when I take epsilon upon 1 plus mod of lambda this is mod of lambda so this is definitely less than epsilon epsilon upon anything will be less than epsilon okay so by definition by epsilon delta definition this is valid okay this implies this take it as 5 consider now norm of lambda f function lambda f applied on x minus lambda b this is equal to lambda taken common from here and now using the property of norm the property of norm tells us what this lambda when comes out of the norm it, it becomes mod because it is a real number so this will become mod of lambda into norm of this remaining term but this norm from this is strictly less than epsilon upon 1 plus this so if this is less than delta then from 5 this is uh, less than pardon me so this is strictly less than this this mod of lambda as it is this is strictly less than epsilon upon 1 plus mod of lambda but definitely lambda upon 1 plus something lambda upon 1 plus lambda will be less than 1 okay so this is less than 1 1 into lambda, uh, epsilon so this whole term is strictly less than epsilon okay so we have proved that uh, for given epsilon positive there is some delta positive such that norm of lambda fx minus lambda b is this is strictly less than epsilon it means limit of this is this limit of lambda fx is equal to lambda b when x is tending to a this proves the uh, uh, the property that when we multiply with the real number the function lambda f has limit lambda b come to the third property um, okay coming to the third property if def by definition lambda fx is uh, uh, if limit of fx is equal to this then uh, by definition again we have we have for given epsilon positive this delta 1 such that we can directly go to this just remember that here we have adjustment epsilon upon 2 times 1 plus uh, mod of lambda okay take it as 1 then for the second limit limit of g is c so again by definition for given epsilon positive there is delta 2 such that uh, uh, when norm of x minus a is less than delta 2 it implies norm of g of x minus c is less than epsilon by 2 times 1 plus mod of mu take it as 2 okay this is just adjustment so if take if we take delta is equal to minimum of delta 1 delta 2 then this norm less than delta implies this as before okay we can directly come to what we have to prove what we have to prove we will consider that so we will consider the difference between norm of difference between lambda f plus mu g minus lambda b plus this so lambda is common it becomes this lambda fx minus lambda b and mu gx minus mu c mu is common from these two terms mu times gx minus this is minus c by by the properties of norm this is less than equal to this comes outside norm so it becomes mod of lambda this comes out of this mod of mu and we have plus sign in between norm of this and norm of this so it is less than equal to bi triangular inequality but from 1 and 2 
okay from 1 from 1 this is less than epsilon upon 2 times 1 plus this from 2 this is less than epsilon upon 2 times this so it becomes less than this as it is epsilon upon 2 times 1 plus mod of lambda plus mod of u into epsilon upon 2 times 1 plus mod of mu but again lambda upon lambda upon 1 plus mod of lambda mod of mu upon 1 plus mod of mu will be less than 1 this is less than 1 this is less than 1 so this is less than 1 times epsilon by 2 and this is less plus this is less than 1 times epsilon by 2 so this is less than epsilon okay so this difference norm of this minus this is less than epsilon therefore limit of this is this so we have proved that limit of lambda plus mu g at x when x is tending to f so, uh, a is equal to lambda b plus mu c thank you